This is going to be a two-part video. First, explaining the coil, and second, showing the coil compared to a regular coil on a live demonstration. Okay, this is a specialized quadrophile pancake coil, which has two layers. Now, it seems to work in non-pancake configuration, too, if it's wound correctly. I discovered what it does is it corrects your power factor to one, which is quite exciting. How to use it, um, what's the ramifications of it, I'm still working, and uh, going towards that goal. But anyway, this is quite fascinating. So, the picture that popped up online one time then quickly vanished, and it's still able to be found on one source that I know of, but I think it's being moderated, is this. So this is pretty much all it shows with a complicated schematic on how to make a motor. And uh, there's no explanation on what's going on with it. It's a little intimidating. But anyway, this is the coil configuration they gave us. The two layers of the pancake, where to connect them and stack them. And you get one lead out, one lead in, and the way it works. <clears throat> so if you picture it like a double cone an hourglass which is a bifiler coil it's quad because how he winds it these two wires don't connect but they connect to the same points so basically two wires going around all the way around and out so red red blue blue okay now you're gonna connect the red wire to the blue wire on the outside now you have a situation where you're sending power into the red. The magnetic field flux is going to grow from the outside to the inside. Outside to inside. And then when it gets on the other side, it's going to grow from the inside to the outside. It changes the way the magnetic field grows. On a normal coil, you know, it grows from the inside to outside the entire way, or the outside to the inside the entire way through on both sides. This, because you go into the center, and then from the center back out, you're switching the way the coil magnetic field grows. Then, as it comes, as it comes out, it loops back in and redoes it again, and goes through, and, and the negative side comes out and goes back into the positive on the other wire and repeats the process growing from the outside to the inside and from the inside to the outside till it finally leaves the circuit. Now that results in a correction of power factor. Your current on a normal inductor like this will lag by 90 degrees but when you run it through this and put the same AC through it your current no longer lags. It moves up 90 degrees and goes perfectly in phase with the voltage. So let's get to a demonstration and we'll show it. Live demonstration. Let's see if I could get through this one handed. Forgive my clumsiness. I have a better camera on order for future videos, but let's go for it. Okay, this is a standard coil, one wire just wrapping around now it's well documented in the textbooks and on documentation that this should produce a lagging current by 90 degrees your current will be 90 degrees out of phase with your voltage and um, it should be lagging behind the voltage so let's turn on the pulsing the switching of polarities and let's look at the scope Yellow is our current, and as you see, exactly like the textbook says, it's lagging by 90 degrees. The top of the voltage is at the zero point of the, I mean, the top of the current is at the 90 point, uh, at the zero line of the voltage, lagging by 90. Exactly what the textbook says we should see on inductors. Okay, now I wound three of those 
uh, different coils. One is exactly like the diagram shows. I'm testing it on a motor and doing some work with that. This is made out of Cat5 with two different layers. Exactly the same as that drawing. I did one with speaker wire on top of each other, but then flipped it so it's still exactly like it's designed. But uh, it's really high amperage because it's huge wire. There's not much of it. And finally, I took a transformer with four taps with bifiler for 110, uh, 220, and I configured two of those in line. So it's basically doing the exact same thing, but not pancake style, thicker coils. And that's the one we're going to use right now because my power supply, I don't want to rock the amps and blow up my H bridge. But it does work. Okay, so bear with me as I try to get this coil out of here and the other one in one handed <clears throat> here comes a tricky part okay and this side let's hope I have the leads hooked up the right direction if not, it'll just be 180 degrees out of phase and we can flip it. Anyway, that's hooked up. Now we're going to start the power supply like before. Now it's pulling a lot more amperage. Here we go. Now you see the yellow is the amperage and the blue is the voltage. They are 100% in phase. And I'm killing my H bridge with too many amperage. Okay, so there you have it. That's what that quadrifiler pancake does. And actually, I'll show you that it's still producing work the same way. Let me get a magnet. Here we go. It's still producing amperage and magnetic field the same way it does. It just should be a hell of a lot more efficient because... The power is going, the power factor is matching. So anyway, that's what I have to show for now. Um, if anyone has ability to read and understand the schematic, you could uh, message me, email me, whatever, and uh, we'll get in contact and I'll see if I could forward you the schematic, the full thing to get some more understanding. But that's what we have for now.